Evaluating Charlotte Co-location versus Raleigh Co-location Options Courtesy of SB Home Run's Guide to Lead Generation Best Practices for Co-location Data Centers Given the number of companies that offer co-location space in the Carolinas, it can be difficult to choose a single one, let alone compare the Charlotte co-location centers to their Raleigh counterparts. Most companies in both cities will provide the connectivity, cooling, storage space, and high security levels needed. So how do you narrow the search down to the best option? The most important factors when looking into co-location services are outlined below. Businesses seeking to host their network hardware off-site need to decide what features and options are most important to them so that more effective comparisons can be made. Connectivity. Downtime means lost revenue for companies that conduct business online. So when you're evaluating co-location companies in Charlotte and Raleigh, ensure that all candidates have redundant connections with different carriers so your web traffic can be rerouted if a single connection fails. Cooling. There are different methods of keeping hosted servers cool, from raised floors to dedicated hot aisle or cold aisle configurations. Which co-location provider you select should partly depend on how hot your equipment can get. Keeping the machinery cool is vital to both the functionality and longevity of your valuable servers. Security. To keep your sensitive data safe from intruders, inquire closely about prospective facility security levels. Some co-location centers only allow access with a key card and have security personnel on-site 24-7. If you operate in the financial services industry or another sector where data breaches can result in significant loss, do not cut corners when it comes to information safety. Disaster Recovery Hardware failure can be a catastrophe or minor inconvenience depending on how efficient and robust the co-location provider's disaster recovery program is. Confirm that any Charlotte or Raleigh facility being considered has escalation procedures to address emergency situations. Most places will have a set of reactive protocols to protect hosted servers, but their response times and extent can vary. Systems Monitoring Hardware and network monitoring should be a core component of any co-location provider service model. If there are any connection issues that could potentially slow down work at your office, the facility staff should not only notify you, but remedy the situation before it even becomes a problem. Certifications If you have industry-specific compliance measures that must be met, make sure that the facility has the appropriate certifications, such as SSAE 16 recognition. While data centers with these certifications will charge more for their services, Service levels will also be higher and regulations concerns are minimized. Relevant links. Co-location facility selection requires careful planning. Understanding the business benefits of co-location. The bottom line. Both Charlotte and Raleigh co-location providers can meet both business requirements at a competitive cost. They also have the ability to grow alongside their client organizations, increasing power, bandwidth, and connection speeds as customer needs dictate. The ideal co-location solution will be both comprehensive and flexible to ensure a perfect fit as time goes on. How do Charlotte co-location centers fare when compared to their Raleigh counterparts? Let us know your thoughts in the comments box below. And if you need to grow your Charlotte co-location client list and revenue, be sure to download your free copy of Lead Generation Best Practices for Co-Location Data Centers. You can download a copy of this guide while it's still available at datacenterleadgen.com. Thanks so much for stopping by and tuning in today to learn all about Evaluating Charlotte Co-Location versus Raleigh Co-Location Options.